What about teams? Because Christian, I know I can see um, your thing has fallen out, and so you can't hear Super can't Producer hear. Rick. We've yeah. got four minutes. Okay, thank you, Super Producer Rick. I can't hear you because my earplugs <laughs> fallen out. Um, I think I got too excited. Um, Engaging teams. Yeah, this is big. This is a sticky wicket at the moment because, like you say, there was a lot of goodwill around the early yeah. lockdown. Oh, Zoom drinks. Yeah, yeah, Zumba parties and. <laughs> Whatever else people were doing, I don't know what normal people do. What's but, a Zumba uh, party? I have no idea, but uh, someone mentioned it somewhere along the line. But right now, I, I don't care who you are, your teams, they're no longer engaged. They're no longer the same human beings that they were. They're in, a, they're in a, an alternate reality. And whether they enjoy, people will still be enjoying working from home, that's fine. There'd be, there'd be a mix there. But you're going to have people in, in certain circumstances where they're working in a share house at the end of a, a, a bench. You're going to have people with multiple children of school age that they're trying to teach as well as you have people who have um, partners who are frontline workers and they're living in yep. constant concern for them and, and all so sorts of things. So thinking about our, our discussion about the Victor leader of Victoria and Victorians, what was it that, you know, the communication strategy is the big piece. It is. And how, how are leaders going to do it? Well, you first you have to know where you're going and you have to make a decision on where you're going. You can't sort of keep playing for time yep. i don't think look you can but i think there's a risk if you keep playing for time people you tell still them everything? They're not no you don't tell them everything never tell everyone everything never tell anyone everything i think there are things as a leader it's a good time to be a bit vulnerable yes. it's a good time to give a bit more than you normally would because people are hurting and they're not bloody stupid they can work out when you're trying to fudge yes. and misdirect yes right so you have to give a little bit more than you normally would but there's no point giving them things that people can't control. So yes. you give them the things that they can control. You refresh their mandate. You remind them why they're involved in the business. You remind them that they have your confidence. You remind yes. them that you're right behind them. And that even if it's going to get rocky in some industries, that you're going to back them all the way as yes. far as you can, right? As hard as you can. I think another thing that's at risk right now is innovation. Yeah. A lot of companies that are very innovative. Now, if you're in the tech space right now, there's no reason why you can't continue on rocking in a lot of areas. But there's companies that will be getting smaller. Yes. And you've really got to give them the confidence to push forward that innovation. Yeah. All your clients, if you're in any industry, are going to be looking for innovation over the next 12 months. That's true. The whole game is reset. You can bring whole new ideas start to the industry. Not necessarily start again, Laura Rackie. <laughs> but off a good base, you can decide to say, we're just going to go and chase some new things and, yep. and bring some new ideas because the client, if a client is You're dealing with you now, thank you, dealing with you now and into the next year, you know that they trust you. Yes. So reward that trust and bring them something. Bring them you something. You can't keep doing it how you've always done it. That's over. Yeah. Right? Okay.